In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to make halftones in Inkscape version 0.46. Recently, I wanted to learn how to add halftones to a, to a uh, particular project that I was working on. I did a little Googling on the subject and found that it was actually quite easy. Here are the references that I used. Uh, the first one is a Deviant Art page that pretty much explains the whole process. I found that one uh, the most useful for what I was doing. Um, the second one is uh, Ryan Lurch has a link on his website to a similar topic, and that links, or I'm sorry, that link brings us to uh, this particular uh, tutorial. So you guys want to make sure you check that out. I'll put all three links in the uh, episode show notes so you guys can uh, find those easily. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to take my document and. Um, bump it down to something really small. Uh, when you're working with halftones, it's kind of CPU intensive, so I think for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use uh, something small. So I'm going to go with just 350 by 350 and uh, work with my page here. And we'll zoom up on that. Okay. And I think the first thing that I'm going to do is, uh, actually let's zoom out just a little bit. I am going to make a new layer and I'm just going to call it image. That'll be just fine. And I'll put it below the current. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that we draw on that image layer. Okay. And I'm just going to draw a square that's 350 by 350. And I'll make it a lighter shade of gray and I'll center that up. Whoops, I'll center that up on my page. Okay, we'll close out on that. And I'll just draw another shape here. Make this just a little bit bigger. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And we'll center that up on our page. And I'll draw an ellipse. Okay, real simple stuff. Um, so basically what I've drawn is just like a like a, a circle, a 3D circle with a little bit of a glare here. And I'm going to take this here, both of these things, all three of these things actually, and group them together. Okay, and after I do that, let's we're, what we're going to need to do is we're going to blur it. So blur is a matter of taste. Uh, if you want to do a little less blur, a little more blur, uh, go ahead and give it a try and see what happens. I'm going to use a 5% uh, blur here. Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to draw is a dot. And I'm going to get on my layer 1 uh, layer. Okay, and we'll draw a circle. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. This dot is pretty much going to become our half tone. So you have to experiment with this. Too small, too big. Um, just do a little playing around. Uh, what I have right here is about pretty good. And we're going to take this and we're going to push this onto our page and keep hitting the wrong button here. Right up in the corner. Okay. So this is what we're going to clone and create our half tones with. Okay, and then we'll go to our edit pull down, clone, create tiled clones. And I already have the document set for 350 by 350, and we're going to go to our trace tab. Here we select trace the drawing under the tiles, 
we select color, we select size only, uncheck everything else, and under the width and height we make sure that that's 350 by 350, that's the size of my page here, and we want to make sure that we use save size and position of the tile, we want to make sure that option is checked. Okay, and we select what we want to clone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Now, like I said, this is a little CPU intensive, so what I expect to see here is Compiz um, grayscaling my uh, background here. That's a normal effect. And you see that I have a nice halftone. So let's zoom in on this and take a closer look. And that's kind of a neat effect. Now that I'm using different layers, what I can do is open up my layers. And if I want to turn off the actual image, I can see just the gray or I'm sorry, just the half tone only. So basically how the half tone works is that I drew a light colored background and then I drew my actual object on top of it. What the half tone does is that anywhere that there is a light color, uh, the dot that I have drawn is very small and anywhere that it finds or blends into a darker color, the dot becomes larger or actual size of what I've drawn. So when we zoom in, uh, or I'm sorry, when we zoom out on this, you can kind of see it a little bit better, but you've got a nice half tone image. I think that's kind of cool. And again, by utilizing layers, we can turn that back on, and we've got a neat little effect, a half tone effect. That comes in handy if you want to do a little shading uh, around something, drop shadow perhaps. Okay, so let's take a look at something else. We'll zoom back out, and let's get rid of everything here. You can see that I had, real quickly there, I had like seven, 1,700 objects selected. Okay, and let's take this and delete all this stuff here. Okay, get back down on the image layer. And this time what I'm going to do is draw another square. Again, I'll just make this 350 by 350. And I'll show you another example. Make this light for now. And I'll put that on our page. Okay, now I'm going to make this black. And we'll give it a gradient. Okay, I'm going to take this very top color and we're going to make it full white so we have no transparency. I'm either full black or full white here. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is try this again. We're going to go to our Edit, Clone, Create Tile Clones. We're going to leave everything alone, only select our dot. We're going to hit create. Again, we wait just a little bit. Okay. Let's take a look at what we have. Again, anywhere that there is light colors, the dot becomes very small, almost invisible, and anywhere where it blends into a darker color, the dot becomes full size again. So let's go to our layers. Let's turn off our image so we can see what the half tones look like. And you see you've got this nice little half tone effect. We'll zoom out on this. Zoom back in. And you can see that that would become a nice little uh, uh, feature and maybe a project that you would be drawing. 
Okay, so let's take a look at one more example of halftones. Let's delete everything here. Remember, these are just clones, by the way. These are not duplicate objects. So whatever I do to this original, uh, all the other clones will change. And I'll just make sure I delete everything here. Okay, now I want to make sure that I'm back on my image layer. And I'm going to bring in uh, a photograph, an image. There's a nice little uh, green lantern ring. Which, by the way, my wife did not want to use these rings as our wedding rings. So that was kind of a bummer. Anyways, let's put this uh, photograph. We'll center that up on our page. And let's say we want to make a half scale of an image. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, i got to draw a square yet. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a 350 by 350 square. And if I were smart, I'd keep using the same square instead of drawing the drawing one over and over again. So I'll go ahead and make this 350, size of my page. And we'll center that up. Okay. And I want to make that white. And I'm going to put it way to the back. Okay. Now I'm going to take these things here and group them together. And we're going to give this a blur. We'll try a 4. 4%. And we'll see what 5 does. Eh, five, 5 might be a little too much. Let's go back to a 4. Okay, and we're going to get on our layer 1 layer. We're going to draw a circle. And we're going to put that circle in the upper left hand corner of our page. I want to make sure the circle is smaller than what I've drawn. So I'm going to highlight this, hold my control key down, and just drag it in. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's zoom out and see what we have. Okay. So again, what we've drawn, we've brought in an image, and the image that I had did not have a white background. The image was uh, was transparent and uh, what I've drawn is a white square 350 by 350 and I've combined my image and my square together. I actually, I'm sorry actually I grouped them together and I've given it a blur. Okay I did that on the layer the image layer. On layer 1 I've drawn my dot. So now what I'm going to do is go down to edit clone, create tile clones again. I'm going to select my dot that I'll use as my halftone dot. It's up just a little bit higher. And I'm going to hit create. Again we wait a little bit. And we have a nice halftone. Okay, so anywhere that there is a light color, the dot disappears or gets smaller. Anywhere that there is darker colors, the dot becomes larger. Okay, so let's get to our image layer and let's shut that off. And here is our half tone. I'll zoom way down on it so we can kind of make out what the image is. And you see that you have a hand with a ring. Okay, let's turn that layer back on. Zoom back in on it. Okay. And that's pretty much halftones. 
So you can do a lot with half tones, uh, more than what I've shown you here. Uh, basically, all I wanted to do was show you how to use or make half tones. And uh, with a little Googling, you can find that you can do lots of neat things with half tones. Uh, again, uh, a half tone makes a nice outer glow on an image uh, where one might put a uh, drop shadow, for example. Um, uh, they're great for comics. Um, if you're drawing uh, comic characters or anything like that, that makes a nice, uh, half tones make a nice little shading there. So again, um, half tones are kind of fun to work with. And uh, you can play with the different effects here in the Create Tile Clones. Uh, you can invert this by selecting this option here. Anywhere that there is light, uh, the object that I've drawn, the dot becomes larger. Anywhere that it's, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, anywhere that it's, that it's light, um, the dot is larger. Anywhere that's dark, the, dark or the dot becomes smaller. So you can, you can invert the effect here. Um, you can also play with uh, presence, color, opacity. Uh, you can change the features here. Just work through some of these options and uh, see what you get. Um, you may find that uh, it creates some pretty neat effects. Um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little tutorial, and thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.